Mate, if you're one of those pesky tool thieves and you're watching this, cut it out. Don't f cut corners and take someone else's sh because you can't be bothered doing an honest day's work for yourself. But let's face it, there's no tool thieves watching this video, so this is for you. I've had tools stolen from me, it's a pain in the ass. I remember locking up one night, pushing everything to the corner, walking away, pumped that I'd done a solid day's work. Come back the next morning and the front door was open. I knew straight away something was amiss. Started walking around, all my tools were gone. Not only was it like this feeling of being violated, like someone had been in my house and walked around and snatched stuff. It also meant that I was rocking up that morning planning to rip into work and I spent the better part of the day now running around trying to sort out my tools. The ongoing implications of that, some of those tools took weeks to come back to me. You have to ring insurance, you have to explain what's happened, you have to file a police report, you actually have to do a stock take of what's gone, what's been taken. You end up spending an extraordinary amount of time when you were just planning to rip into the job, you're now doing all this niggly stuff and so that's the secondary effect that you, you pesky tool thief, have on people like us. On this hand, there's the things that you can do to prevent and deter from theft. And on this side, is the things that you can't control. You can't control a munter who's going to decide in the middle of the night to snatch your stuff. Let's start with the things you can control. Like engraving. While I scribe these, go ahead, click subscribe, help us crack 10k, we're almost there. First of all, you should double check that engraving your fine trigonometry instruments doesn't mess with it. I'm pretty sure this will be fine, and I do send it for regular calibrations. So, number one, mark your tool. If it's one of my personal tools, I'll mark it with my name, Josh. If it's a company owned tool, I'll mark it your place building, YPB. I think the next thing I've always been taught is mark it in two spots. So I like to mark my drills right down here on the base and somewhere there. I also, another trick for beginners, mark all your batteries. There's nothing worse than like 15 batteries floating around site and like who's taking my brand new 5 amp hour battery? And especially for me when I've got multiple batteries floating around multiple sites, you know the guys just come and grab their stuff. I want to know like where are my batteries when I need to go and we eat the lawns at home. Ooh. Another thing you control is where you keep your tools. You want to keep them out of sight, out of mind. You want to keep them safe and secure. So obviously as a builder, your van or your ute is a toolbox on wheels. If possible, park it in a safe, secure spot, not just during the evenings, but during the workday. If there's some considerable distance or it's out of eyesight, lock it every time. I know it's a pain in the ass, but the last thing you want is someone like flicking through your vehicle. You want to deter those opportunistic spur of the moment type people. Really, you have to keep it off street. You can't park a vehicle with tools in it on the street overnight. You've got to find a secure spot for it to be parked. As well as that, we're now forming a insurance log and I'm taking a photo of everything. And this helps me in two ways. Number one, if something does get stolen, I can prove to my insurance company straight away that I owned it, that it was marked, and this is the model. Now let's talk about the things you can't control, those pesky tool thieves. So let's say, like me, you have had your stuff stolen. The first thing you've got to do is call the cops, make a report about it, and then the next thing you got to do, and it's way easier said than done, but you've got to get out of that victim mindset. Yes, this has happened to you, but just because it's happened to you doesn't mean that life is over. Yes, it sucks. Yes, those tool thieves are it makes your blood boil, it makes you so angry, and that's okay. Acknowledge that feeling, but accept that it's happened. Accept that it's made you angry, and accept that you're going to have to move on. The sooner you move on, the sooner you get a new tool and you get back to work, the less impact that person has on you. Get back to doing what you love. Maybe you were on the DeWalt platform, and you absolutely hated it. And look at the fact that like you can now jump on the Milwaukee platform. 
I know that it sucks, but there's a silver lining in everything if you choose to see.